greetings Pisces and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I uh, hope you're all well and let's dive in and see what the cards have for a Pisces, a sun, moon and rising. And um, thank you again uh, for all of your uh, subscriptions and support. I appreciate each one of you. And I see that there is an opportunity coming in for you, uh, Pisces. Uh, it's coming in from some earth sign, from a Capricorn, uh, a Virgo, a, a Taurus. And it's um, coming in uh, as a pure potential. Uh, you might not even see this coming. It's coming in with this young energy of wanting to really t be tender toward this and grow it and love it. And you're coming into it with a lot of uh, quick communication. Um, and there is a time for you now to uh, work on it, uh, to uh, uh, believe in it. Um, a lot of times as we are a Pisces, having these feelings, you're a watery a sign and wanting to um, uh, take something out there. We don't know exactly how to grow this, what to do with it, but we know it's going to be a something, this little star, this little coin is going to end up being a, a quite a mighty investment. Um, and it's coming because you have uh, this high priestess at the foundation of this, and that's um, Pisces energy. And so it is. So um, let's uh, get started with what the uh, cards have for you today. Well, what you're coming into uh, as you begin, uh, the message here uh, wants you to know uh, the high priestess is um, there in the energy. That's you. You're coming in, Pisces, to your own reading. And you're sitting under this canopy, um, but it's open. There's no glass ceiling. It is um, this direct opening uh, to your crown at all times. And that is what the high priestess, she is that um, virginal energy in the sense of rule by the new moon. Uh, it's not the fullness of the empress, but it is the deep fullness of um, being that um, a guardian of those a secret knowledge, of sacred wisdom. Uh, she is the um, a patron, the patroness of uh, the tarot. And you could be tapping into uh, Pisces at the deepest level, your own psychic abilities now, and studying those, um, maybe having a, a practice behind the scenes, uh, doing this work in secret. And it's going to bring you a lot of wisdom. Uh, and that wisdom you're going to express, but in a very unique way, a very novel way, eccentric energy. Um, and you're also um, connected to those uh, chthonic energies of the underworld because you're that uh, threshold guardian. You can move between the conscious and unconscious, between uh, what is um, the realm of what we call uh, the spirit realm of the dead and of the living, and to have a sacred communication between those. Um, and to be uncontaminated uh, by others. And what is challenging uh, her is this feeling of maybe a little bit of disappointment in terms of your relationships or how other people see you and your role as the high priestess. Maybe they're, you're kind of bored with the kind of emotions that they're bringing you or that surround you in the a social energy and you're feeling like I've got to get a, a new group of soulmates or some uh, energy where people really can tap into the wisdom and that deep uh, knowledge I have and to take this offering um, maybe to receive a new way of loving, a new way of inter, um, acting with the high priestess. And it's what is this high priestess in the um, <clears throat> Well, it brings you this sense of the Seven of Cups. There are some choices you have to make um, about uh, this uh, cup. Uh, you're being offered one cup now. You know there are a lot of choices, but you're going to use your um, inner knowing, that inner wisdom, that divine feminine wisdom to know uh, what is the right choice for you at this time. And you're choosing... Um, the energy of working in collaboration. This is the blueprint, the architect. You're designing uh, a new possibility. 
um, and working on it. And um, you see those three uh, stained glass windows where you have come to build this cathedral with others and they're coming to visit what you worked on. And they're seeing, you're standing above the rest. <clears throat> maybe you have felt maybe bored at whatever this spiritual work, this inner uh, work, maybe cut off alone doing this. And now you're wanting to work in collaboration with others um, on your psychic abilities, on a tarot, maybe uh, working and being recognized for what you're building. Because this is um, something you're designing, you're building, you're structuring. It's something practical, and it's coming out of uh, this energy of recognition, of seeing that you're good at this, uh, and you've got a lot of passion for it, and skills, the skill set for it. But there is a, something at a crossroads about uh, this work you're doing, uh, and you're having to make a decision. You could be blindfolding yourself uh, to go inward, uh, Pisces, uh, because uh, to go um, into these deep realms with the high priestess, we have to shut maybe at times the uh, external world out um, to go and see deeply what it is that you really want to choose out of all these possibilities and what you want to choose to work on and build into your um, future and to be influenced by uh, this work and to stand on above others to be recognized. Uh, and you're going to make a decision uh, coming up because it's a decision also about um, a partnership. And you've got a lot of choices, you see, with the Four of Cups and the a Seven of Cups. That's like it's time to make a decision. There's a choice. You've been daydreaming, but something new is being offered. And uh, it's being offered. Uh, this is some a love actually being offered uh, um, from the high priestess. Some it's spiritual love. It's sacred love. It's divine love. It's soul mate energy. And you might have um, been at a crossroads about whether you want to move, uh, take the blindfold off, see what's possible behind you. Uh, and it's coming because of <clears throat> this sense of. Um, having to move toward uh, this work where you're going to work at this, slow and steady. Uh, but you're getting recognition. Both of these cards show a level of uh, recognition for your skill set, for your craft. And it could be a psychic energy, a tarot, uh, divination. You could be working in astrology. But you're building something that is very divine and knowing, that inner knowing, that inner being. Um, and it's going to come with this choice in a partnership. And maybe you have been in, a, in the recent um, past uh, kind of in the doldrums, evaluating relationships altogether. And now something new is coming in, a choice to be made. And it's coming because what is it that um, Pisces you need to know about uh, what you're working on with the high priestess? What is it um, that skill, that craft? Um, what is coming for you? Um, well, it's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment and happiness, bliss, uh, a satisfaction, a satisfacting, a satisfactory work. But it's more than that. It's like a wish come true. This work is coming, and that you want to work on it. Uh, with the high priestess, this um, energy of psychic um, knowing, of channeling, of bringing uh, these messages down, of wishing on your true destiny and fulfillment, and that's what you're working on. And it's coming um, because you're going to have a partnership in this kind of work. And it's going to be a partnership uh, that is going to be collaborating um, and building something around a union with this work that you're already being uh, recognized for. And that is coming in uh, because of uh, the sense of, well, what is it that you need to know about uh, the Two of Cups and the Three of Pentacles? Well, the Hermit, well, you have gone inward. Uh, this is Virgo energy. And you've introspected. You're following that star, Pisces. 
and you're following the star uh, toward this uh, collaboration uh, in union. You got information, you learned your, the details that a Virgo um, can apply to that self-knowledge, that self-understanding, that inner wisdom. And you've gotten a lot of wisdom about what you're working on in collaboration. And it's gonna bring you a lot of a love or union with another person that is gonna be perhaps very fulfilling, uh, just like a wish come true. And it's coming because the hermit is looking to uh, the sense of um, <clears throat> the end of any kind of imprisonment or self uh, uh, restriction that is coming to an end uh, because of what you've learned. You're learning something. Uh, the uh, devil and the hermit are confronting each other and you're saying uh, to uh, death, uh, the um, a hermit is saying, I've learned, I've gotten above this, I've got this wisdom and self-knowledge about what needs to come to an end. And what is ending is this uh, self-restriction, self-sabotage, self-doubt, um, mental uh, overthinking, anxiety about what you're working on and what you're joining together within yourself and, and with a partnership that is gonna grow and you're building something. But there is a decision uh, you need to make. And this is uh, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But uh, Gemini, there is a decision, Libra, a balanced, uh, a choice in a partnership uh, that you wanna work with. And you're gonna let this uh, go. Uh, whatever this is needs to end and it is ending it's a natural ending to a phase of your life where you have uh, let yourself uh, be um, isolated imprisoned and you're going to um, get that self-knowledge now so you can celebrate um, this wish that you have been working on and you've had choices and opportunities maybe you've been daydreaming um, about what will bring you this happiness. Uh, and uh, you have this uh, card of the seven and the four is 11. So that is a one and one is two. So there is this energy of the two that brings the fulfillment and you're working on it. You're working on your happiness. This doesn't just uh, uh, come, we choose to be happy. We choose to leave behind what doesn't fulfill us so we can go toward the nine of cups. And when you come here, you have that deep inner wisdom of that self-knowledge. Um, and you get that wisdom directly. It's unfiltered, unprocessed, uncontaminated. It's purified. Um, it's sacred water that she uh, brings. And Pisces, you are of the water, and she is sitting on the throne of water. And so uh, that is what I have for you in this reading today. And so let's recap that you come into the reading um, as the high priestess. Uh, and we've explored uh, how she is now um, having choices, the choices you need to make uh, about um, this, uh, what all of these energies being offered you. And you went inward to learn about what it is that is truly uh, fulfilling you. You have both the hermit and the high priestess. And what is coming to an end is any kind of mental uh, self-sabotage, overthinking it, depression, um, feeling of uh, constraint, uh, imprisonment. And you have a decision to make. You have to decide to get out of that. Uh, and you're at a crossroads in terms of perhaps a joining. And that could be joining and healing uh, within yourself or with some different energy. But the healing is going to bring uh, you collaboration. And this union, this partnership, is uh, you're going to stand above the rest and be recognized when you collaborate. And that is coming because it's going to bring you this fulfillment. Um, and Pisces, that's coming uh, 
as you uh, develop the sense of that deep inner knowing of what's right for you and to use your uh, psychic abilities to fulfill your destiny and you are and that is what I have for you an amazing reading of Pisces I hope uh, you can resonate with some of this it's a general reading but if it does resonate please leave me a comment I'd love to hear what you're working on with the high priestess and how this fulfillment and this satisfaction and contentment and harmony is coming to you right now and sending you love. Bye-bye, Pisces.